Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's found his word this morning. Amen. Amen. And we ate. Amen. 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 Thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we have some um, saints from North Bay for blending. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And then we also have a little shorter time. We have to end early because the yeah. brothers need to go to Itero. Right. So uh, let's get started right away. Um, Amen. So first, I'm going to share my screen and then uh, we can pray read. Amen. Uh, amen. Let's pray read Proverbs 9.10. Mm -hmm. And then uh, mm -hmm. first Roman numeral, Roman numeral one. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's the beginning Amen. of wisdom. Wisdom. Amen. 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 Oh, the beginning of wisdom. Amen. The beginning of wisdom. Amen. 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 Oh, it's the, the beginning of, of wisdom. Yeah. Amen. 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 Of Jehovah is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Knowledge Lord. of the Holy One is understanding. Right. Amen. 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 The Holy One is understanding. Amen. The Holy One. Amen. We want to know the Holy One. Yes. Yes. Lord. Amen. Know the Holy One is understanding. Amen. 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 Understanding. Amen. Understanding. Amen. 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 Amen.
Right. First yeah. principle yeah. for man to live a proper human life. Human life. Amen. 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 Glory is for us to fear the Lord. Amen. 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 Fear the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. The Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord. Amen. 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 Am
Hallelujah. Amen. This Amen. includes so many, so many things, trusting in Jehovah, honoring Jehovah, and so many things, right? Mm. And um, um, definitely the first thing, the first principle, right? And this is, uh, this is actually not to build our natural man. Our natural man is good for nothing but death and burial, right? Uh, so right. This is yeah. not for us to build up our natural man, but it is for us to live a proper human mm. life in, in resurrection, this is in amen. God's economy, right? So, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So the fear, um, fearing the Lord, that's the first principle for us to live <clears throat> a human life. And um, it is to fear the Lord, to revere the Lord. And as we pray read, to fear the Lord is to be in fear of offending mm -hmm. him, right? When we respect someone, we always um, <clears throat> are afraid of offending that person, right? So we... Um, we are really honoring that person and then um, to be in fear of losing his presence his presence means everything to us right and of not receiving receiving him as a reward in the next age we should be in fear of missing the lord's smile in this age hallelujah for the lord's yes, smile in this lord. age. Amen. Amen. right and then we should be in fear of missing his reward in the next age yes. amen so this is our first uh, Roman numeral, the first principle of man. Um, <clears throat> and then um, uh, all the sub points give further detail about the fear of the Lord. To fear the Lord is to consider and regard him in everything, right? He's the Amen, source of it, everything. Jesus, He's a yes. wonderful God Amen. who created us. Right? Amen. So actually, you know, his hand is actually in everything that we are, everything that we go through. Everything in our body, right? It's all from the Lord. Amen. Uh, and then, uh, so we should regard him in everything. Fearing the Lord stops us from doing evil. Right? Right. And then yeah. it also causes us to be touched by the sufferings of others and to Amen. show mercy right. and compassion to them. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah, definitely <laughs> it stops us from doing evil, but that's not the only yeah. thing, right? There's mm -hmm. a lot more. We can suffer with other people, and then we can show com mercy and compassion to them. It Amen. all comes from our fearing the Lord. Amen. 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 And then point B, right, I was uh, especially touched by this, that um, um, it, is, it is, uh, is to fear what we're doing is out of ourselves, not out of the Lord, right? right? Amen. 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 Right. Uh, so uh, let me actually read the whole thing. To fear the Lord is not only fleeing from sins, but also and even more rejecting the self. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. Fearing the Lord is to reject our self. Fearing Amen. the Lord is not merely to fear that we have sinned or that we are worldly, um, which we should do also. But then that's not all right. To right. fear uh, it is to fear what we are doing is out of ourselves and not out of out of the Lord. So, right. so um, the example here is uh, Peter, right? Peter was, oh, Lord Jesus. Well, uh, so Peter was basically telling the Lord, um, have pity on yourself, right? The yeah. self, because he was focused on the self. So right. the Lord had to tell his disciples, if anyone wants to come after me, let him deny himself, right? Take up his right. cross and follow me. Right. So. This is to fear the Lord, is to reject anything Amen. of ourself. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. And see, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, the and the knowledge Lord. of the Holy One is understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the verse Amen. of God. Amen. Yeah. And so knowledge, wisdom, and understanding come mm -hmm. from God. Right. If you fear Him, revere Him, these will be our possessions. Right. Amen. So if we fear the Lord, then we'll have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Mm. These are really precious. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay. I'll, let me, um, today I need to go quickly. So let me go to Roman numeral two, which is the spirit of Jehovah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The spirit of Jehovah with uh, these items would rest upon Christ. Amen. Oh, the spirit of Jehovah would rest upon Christ. Here Amen. we see the triune God, right? We have yeah. Jehovah, we have the spirit, and we have Christ. Amen. The spirit has Amen. aspects. 
the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge. And then the last item is the spirit of the fear of Jehovah. Jehovah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So it is this spirit that would rest upon Christ. Amen. 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 He lived in his humanity. He was always one with this spirit, filled with the spirit. Amen. And then the particular aspect in focus in this message is the spirit of the fear of Jehovah. Amen. Last weekend, there was a high conference. It was on the two spirits. And then, uh, so the brothers put this point of uh, the spirit of the fear of Jehovah yeah. in the outline yeah. because we wanted to teach the young people, right? They need to have the spirit of the fear of Jehovah upon them. Amen. Amen. It's very important in their human life, right? right. We need to be filled with the spirit the <laughs> fear of Jehovah in our human life. Amen. Amen. So the Lord Jesus, he is the first God man and he mm -hmm. left us the model. And then the right. way he lives is the way that we should all live. Right. He's a perfect Amen. model. And then he's also the life-giving spirit within Amen. us. Right? Amen. 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 So this spirit was with the Lord Jesus all the time and was Amen. always wrong with him. Amen. Amen. Walked Amen. by the spirit, lived a life in, with, by, and through the spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So whatever he did. In his human living, the spirit was always manifested. Amen. 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 Going on quickly. Um, in his human living, Jesus was filled with the spirit. Amen. Amen. With a reverential, obedient fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. He, wow, he even delighted in the fear Amen. of the Lord. That was his delight. That was his life and that was his joy. Wow. Amen. Amen. Wow. And then now in his resurrection, he is the all-inclusive, bountiful, supplying spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this spirit is the spirit of the fear of Jehovah. Amen. Who is the indescribable human living and the ministry. Right? His, his uh, human living and his ministry both are included in the spirit of the fear of Jehovah. Amen. Amen. The fear that we have today. Amen. 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 So the Lord Jesus, right, as the perfect model for us. Right. Um, this uh, this point, right, um, <sighs> is <laughs> quite striking. So we also right. taught the young people, no human being ever feared God as mm. much as Jesus did. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. So amazing, right? Isn't Jesus God? Like, right. why? Why does he also have to fear God? Wow, he's a God man. Right. And then, so he also left us a model. And then, mm -hmm. so if the Lord lived this way, we also need to live this way. Right. Oh, yeah. right. So, Amen. Fear to God. Amen. Amen. In carrying out God's New Testament ministry, the Lord Jesus told us that he never did anything out of himself. He did not have his own work. He did not yeah. speak his own word. He did everything Amen. not by his own will, and Amen. he did not seek his own glory. Amen. Amen. Nothing Amen. of himself. He was always seeking right. God's glory. Right. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. In both his human living and his New Testament ministry. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. And then Amen. number two. Jesus lived this kind of life, right? He lived a life in which he did everything in God, with God, and for God. Amen. God lived in his living. He was one with God. And so this is the reality in Jesus, as I mentioned in Ephesians chapter 4, verses yeah. 20 and 21, right? Well, so one, there is this a reality that is in Jesus, but that's not all, right? Hallelujah for the second part. We need to ask the Lord as the spirit of reality. Today, he is the spirit of reality. So he can guide us into all the, all the reality. Amen. The reality of experiencing his life of submission, his life of obedience to the Father. Amen. So not only we have him as the model on the outside, but we also have the spirit of reality who can guide us into all these realities, especially his life of submission and obedience to the Father. Amen. The one that lives Amen. within us. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. When we turn to Him, the Spirit will guide us into this reality yeah. and make us yeah. the same as He is. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, I think I need to uh, go faster and then go to Roman number three now. Uh, to fear God is to trust in Him. Amen. 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 Also to Hallelujah. trust in Him. Amen. And then, so uh, I really enjoy this picture, right? Of um, those people who trust in the Lord. And then um, this is actually the picture of God's economy, right? Amen. Um, so Proverbs says, uh, trust in Jehovah with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Amen. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Amen. 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 These are really precious verses. Amen. And then in Jeremiah 17, this verse really shows us God's economy, right? Blessed is the man who trusts in Jehovah and whose trust Jehovah is. Amen. Wow. Quite amazing. We don't just trust in Jehovah, but Jehovah is our trust. Oh, yeah. Praise wow. the Lord. Amen. Even our trusting is not reliable. Right. Right. Our trusting needs to be Jehovah himself. Right. He himself Amen. needs to become our trust. Amen. Amen. And if we are such a person, then we will be like a tree planted beside water. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah for this water, the living Amen. water Amen. flowing from the throne of God. Amen. Amen. And this tree sends out its roots by a stream right. and will not be afraid oh, when he comes. Right. Amen. And there's all kinds of persecution and so on. Well, we don't need to be afraid. Hallelujah. Because Amen. we have the water. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's leaves Amen. remain flourishing. Wow. And you will not be anxious in the year of drought. Wow. Right. Amen. Sometimes the we have the year of bountiful, uh, lots, lots of fruit, right? And then other years Amen. it'll be drought. Oh Lord Jesus, but if we are trusting in Jehovah, then we will not cease to bear fruit. Amen. Amen. We need to pray for fruit bearing these days, right? right? Amen. Amen. So the way to do it, first of all, we need to trust in Jehovah. Amen. Take him as our source in everything and join Amen. him. Amen. Then we don't need to be we don't need to be afraid and we don't need to be anxious. <laughs> right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So uh, I think uh, I need to stop and then uh, give it to Brother Andrew for the rest. Amen. Okay, we have a shorter time this morning, uh, right. so we have to go through these nuggets quickly. <laughs> yeah. Amen. You, you, you know, I, I just feel that this morning I found a gold mine. You know, this yeah. call line is a gold mine. Yes. Sometimes you went to these uh, conferences, trainings, and you you were in one one of those meetings. You're like, wow, I need to keep this outline set aside somewhere so right. I can come back to this outline again yeah. and yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. This is one of those outlines. Yes. And where can you find an outline or a message or anywhere mm -hmm. in Christianity? Yeah. It talks about fearing the general. Lord. Not just fearing the Lord. You have to pay attention to the title of this the outline. It says, Fearing the Lord in the Economy of God. Right. Amen. Because it's a matter of fearing the Lord related to the economy of God. Amen. This, Amen. Is, this outline opened up from all directions, right? Mm -hmm. How this fearing the Lord, right, related mm -hmm. to the yeah. economy of God. Yeah. And how, yeah. how we're able to enter and mm -hmm. in, into and enjoy, right, this matter. Mm -hmm. When, when we talk about the fury, or the, who, who would even think about this something with joy and right. something with uh, enjoyment right. and Amen. something related to the, right. the person of Jesus? Amen. This, uh, this outline is just, uh, it's just tremendous. Amen. And I, I wish we have hours that we can just yeah. right. get into it, really right? pray so. over it. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we need to come back to this again and again. Amen. Because Amen. of time, we don't have time to go over everything. I will mainly focus on Roman numeral 6 and the, and the last Roman numeral uh, 8. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roman numeral 6, if you pay attention to these two verses, uh, I'll go to the outline uh, later. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 20, 32, 30, <laughs> verses 39 and 40. Mm -hmm. Right there you have, of course, one heart and one way. Amen. But the next verse... 
you have this matter, I will put my fear、mm. into their hearts. As I was reading this verse, I was like, "Why did God have fear? <laughs> you, 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 don't you think this verse is a little strange?" So I will put my fear、mm. into their hearts. This is、mm. talking about Jehovah. How how would Jehovah have fear?、Mm. We so this outline all these points here are. Really, we're fighting our natural concept. You know, when we think about this matter of the fearing God, we have a lot of natural concepts. We have a lot of these religious concepts. They're just binding us, so we we're not able to see the intrinsic significance in this matter in the economy of God.、Amen. Here you have this matter of my fear in Roman numeral six, and the last Roman numeral of this outline. Yeah, who will even Considered、yeah. the yeah. last chapter of Proverbs, <laughs> they sent us the two models. Right, you know, right. I was like, "What is this?"、Mm. And we come to the last chapter of Proverbs. Usually, we just point the finger to our wives, right, or to the sister. Oh yeah, yeah, you better be this right <laughs> here. Some important w- worthy woman, worthy woman. <laughs> <laughs> But here you have this, this, this two models. Mm-hmm. We have to see the light of God's economy. God's economy. Yes. Even this matter of the proverbs、mm-hmm. ended up with two models.、Mm-hmm. Right? How how can we uh, how、mm-hmm. provide right? This says how to、uh, the last point. Actually, the last point in this outline says how being like this will cause us to have value and glory before the Lord. Amen.、Mm-hmm. Only the aspect of overcoming. We should be like a king.、Mm-hmm. So it shows this two model. We need to be both. Right. right. We need right. To be the model of the king. This、mm-hmm. is in the aspect of overcoming.、Mm-hmm. Being, Amen. The aspect of loving the Lord. Right. This worthy woman loves the Lord. Right. The aspect、Amen. of loving the Lord.、Mm-hmm. We should be like a worthy woman. Amen. Amen. Oh, thanks. This、uh, this outline、mm-hmm. is just is something. <laughs> this is something. Amen. Okay, Amen. I have to go through them quickly. Then we can.、Um, I. I hope many、uh, saints can share. So, under Roman numeral、uh, four, to fear the Lord means that we also honor Him. There are many、mm-hmm. points here.、Mm-hmm. The point A says,、uh, re- uh, "It says that we." This is the Proverbs three nine and ten. Right, honor Jehovah with your substance.、Mm-hmm. The direct translation of that <laughs> is money. Honor <laughs> Jehovah with your money. Amen. And this <laughs> this is also another. Foreign、mm. concept to us. Yeah, we think honor the Lord just kind of oh you, you you、uh, I don't know. We have so many of these funny concepts. What the honoring of the Lord is, but here you have a verse says honor Jehovah with your substance, amen. With the first fruits of your produce.、Mm. So honoring the Lord is even related to our material possessions.、Mm-hmm. Right then you have many of these、uh, points here. I don't have time to. Go over them. Point E says to be in the fear of Christ. This is specifically talking about the fear of Christ, not just fear of God.、Mm-hmm. But this matter of fearing of Christ in Ephesians five twenty one says being、mm-hmm. subject to one another in the fear of Christ. Well, what、yeah. does it mean to fear in to be in the fear of Christ? Is to fear offending Him as a head.、Mm-hmm. So being subject to one another. Is in the fear of offending him as a head.、Mm-hmm. Like、Amen. This in the、uh, Ephesians five.、Mm-hmm. Uh, then of course you have point G. Fearing the Lord is a way to lengthen life. Right. If we fear the Lord, we love Him. We can even live longer. Amen. <laughs> Alone、uh, to lengthen our life. Then you. Then the, at the end of this、uh, Roman numeral, you have examples, right, of of those who who、uh, feared. Fear the Lord.、Uh, you have Noah, right, being moved by pious fear. Right. You know, Abraham, <coughs> this is in the offering of Isaac, right. He says he feared God, and of course you have David. David says serve Jehovah with fear、Amen. and rejoice with trembling. We'll come back to this verse later.、Mm-hmm. And Nehemiah,、uh, really say he is the、uh, the best right leader.、Mm. And how. Did Nehemiah live? It says, "Who took delight in fearing your name?" Amen. Then he says, "Shall we, shall you not walk in the fear of our God?"
That shows that he lived in the fearing of the Lord, right? He didn't he didn't uh, take the uh, uh, he didn't lay the heavy burden on people, right? Took to food and wine from them and took money from them because he did not he did not do so because of the fear of God. So here we see that Nehemiah is such a person. Okay, so the holy fear of the Lord is actually Roman number five, a, a source of joy. Amen. How could this be a source of joy? You know, when we wow. when we think about fear, it's like you, you, in our natural concept, right? We're trembling, we're kind of afraid. But this says the holy fear of the Lord is actually mm. a source of joy as a fountain of life and as a tree of life. Amen. In this verse, Psalm 211, uh, we need to pray, read this verse, right? It says, serve Jehovah with fear right. and rejoice with trembling. Amen. Rejoice. I was, when I was reading this, I was like, what, what is this? Trembling. How can you rejoice with it's trembling? trembling. Yeah. Right? That means you, on one hand, we're honoring the Lord. We're living in the fear of the Lord, right? Revere the Lord. But then it's a source of joy. When we live this way, we're filled with joy. And we found the fountain of life. Amen. And we have the tree of life. Mm. Oh, I just, I just have time. I don't have time to go over this, right? You have Proverbs 14. Again, this book of Proverbs is just a brand new book to us. Proverbs 14, 27. This is the fear of Jehovah is a fountain of life. Amen. Proverbs eleven thirty. Since the fruit of the righteous man is a tree of life. Mm -hmm. I mean, see, we live this way, living the fear of Jehovah, the fear of the Lord in the economy of God. Mm -hmm. We enjoy him. We found a fountain of life. Amen. And we Amen. found a tree of life. Wow, isn't this uh, wonderful? Amen. And the fear of the Lord leads to life, right? Amen. It is a constricted right. way, the way of uh, the few, mm -hmm. not of the many. That leads mm -hmm. to life. The path of life are for us to live in God and thus to touch and obtain life. These paths are the highways that God has put in our hearts for us to enter into Him. Amen. So when we fear the Lord, we found the highways that, that God put in our heart for us to enter into Him. The key here is to enter into God. For mm -hmm. To fear the Lord in the economy of God is to find the pathway, the highway. We can enter into God. Okay, I have to jump to Roman numeral six, um, which I will spend a little time. It says, God promised to give us, God promised to his people to give us one heart and one way. Right. What's that one heart and one way for? One heart and one way is for us to fear him all mm -hmm. the days for our own good and for the good of our children after us. So this is a, a promise, right? A blessing, not just for us, but even the children, our children. And he puts his fear into our hearts. I mentioned this earlier. You have this verse, Jeremiah 32, 40. It says, I will put my fear into their hearts. Mm -hmm. how, how, we have to think about this. How does God have fear? This verse says, this, this is an Old Testament verse, but it's full of the New Testament economy. Right. right. I will put my fear into their hearts. Mm -hmm. This means that we will, so that we will not turn away from him. Amen. Amen. So for Amen. God to put his fear into our hearts so that we will not turn away from him. No, That's the result okay. of him putting his fear into our heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. A, since we, the chosen people, should all have one heart. What's the one heart? To love God, to see God, to live God, and to mm -hmm. be constituted with God. So that we can Amen. become his expression. And one way. Oh, saints, what is this one way? This one way is the triune God himself. Well, I don't know if Jeremiah understands this when he wrote this. When he wrote this one heart and one way, this one way is the triune God himself. That's the inner lot of life with its divine capacity. That is our one way, is the triune God himself. Right, Jeremiah 32, 39 says, I will put them, I will give them one heart and one way. Amen. In 31, 33, it says, I will put my law in their inner parts mm -hmm. and write it upon their hearts. Mm -hmm. right? And of course, John 14, 6, we know what this one way is. The Lord said, I am the way. 
So that this one right. way, this way is the Triune God Himself right. as the yeah. inner Lord of mm. Life. It's not just God, but the Triune God Himself as the inner Lord of Life. Amen. And this Law of Life brings in all its capacity, right? Amen. With its capacity, and this is one way. Amen. But how can we have the one accord? We talk about this matter of one accord right. all the time. Right. This one heart and one way are the one accord. Amen. And we have this one heart. We love the Lord. We take this one way. We take the triune God as our way, as the mm. inner law of life with its capacity. We have the one accord. Mm. And this, is, uh, this matter of the division results from having a heart for something other than Christ. Right. And taking away <laughs> other than Christ. Mm. But whenever we take away other than Christ, we cause division. Right. Oh, I was impressed of these verses in Acts again. Right. It says, verse 14, chapter 1 says, with one accord, steadfast, continue steadfastly with one accord in prayer. Verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 46, there's st continue steadfastly with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house. Right. Chapter 4, verse 24. They lift up their voice with one accord to God. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. result of this kind of church life is Romans 15, 6. Right? That with one accord, you may with one mouth glorify the God and Father of our Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. So see, God made eternal covenant, the new covenant. It is by this covenant that God will not turn away from us. Praise the Lord. You know, this new covenant, we might think that co new covenant is for God asking us to do something, right? So mm. we sign a contract. No, the new covenant is God set up this new covenant so that God will not turn away from us. Amen. Amen. So he cannot turn away. This is, again, this is right, not in our natural concept. This is, it is by this covenant that God will not turn away from us. And not only so, he put his fear into our hearts so that mm. we mm. will not turn away from him. Amen. So this is a mutual covenant. God will not turn away from us, and we will not turn away from him. Right. Wow. This is, uh, so when we fear God, we are instructed by God concerning the way that we should choose. And mm -hmm. we are able to know God's intimate counsel and his covenant. Mm -hmm. Only those who fear God can have God's revelation of his covenant. Mm -hmm. And he gives his intimate counsel only to those who fear him amen amen oh we don't have time but we you need to pray read these two verses <laughs> psalm 25 12 and 14 amen. but him will he instruct concerning the way that he should choose amen. the intimate counsel of jehovah is to those who fear, fear him. him amen his covenant will he make known to them so mm -hmm. when we fear the Lord, we live in this way, right? He wow. will make his covenant known to us mm -hmm. and he will show us his way. Amen. Amen. Okay, to fear the Lord and to love the Lord are the two wonderful results of the forgiveness of our sins. Praise I, the Lord. I don't have time to uh, go over this. But C says the more the Lord forgives us, the more we fear him. The more we fear him, the more we love him. Amen. On the negative side, because we fear him, we refrain from doing things that are right. displacing to him. Okay. On the positive side, because we love him, we do things that are pleasing to him. Mm. So these are the two results. And we come to the last point. Proverbs 31 <laughs> presents to us the two models of those who fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. oh, how could this uh, book end up with two models? And this is a tremendous light that right the end of the Proverbs give us these two models who fear the Lord. Amen. On the one hand, we should be a king. What does it mean to be a king? That means having the authority to rule. Mm. On the other hand, we should be a worthy woman. This woman know how to arrange, manage, take care of, and provide for the needs of the saints in the house of God. Right? This worthy woman took care of the, her house. It, a it says the Proverbs 31 through uh, 3 through 9 speaks of the reigning king. So you have to look at what, what were mentioned about this king, right? He says the, the one who does not drink wine. And this king speaks for the rights uh, of others that 
minister of justice. So you, you have all these verses in Proverbs. I don't have time to read them. But he talks about this king and, and the princesses, right? They do not drink wine. That means they're under a certain kind of restriction. So point one says our Lord was fully under God's restriction. And when we come to this point, we have to see the Lord as a model, a pattern. And we have to see the overcoming saints. We have to see the church, ourselves, right, as the ones who are following and being conforming to this model. Our Lord was fully under God's restriction. Hence, he could reign for God. If we can be restricted by God and thus deal with ourselves, we will be able to reign for God. So mm. You have this bad aspect of the king. Mm -hmm. In ruling mm -hmm. over people, the king first had to be instructed. Remember that mm. these verses is the king has to be instructed, governed, ruled, mm. and controlled mm. by the word of God. The king has to be instructed, governed, ruled, and controlled by the word of God. The principle should be the same with the elders in the churches. Well, this principle should be the mm. same for all of us. That mm. we need to be instructed, governed, ruled, and controlled by the word of God. Right Amen. then we can uh, have the authority of God. So in order to administer, to mm -hmm. manage the church, the elders must be reconstituted with the holy word of God. Mm. As a result, oh, as a result, they will be under God's government. What's the result? The result is not to rule other people. The result mm. is that they will be under God's government, God's government. under God's yeah. rule and control. control. Amen. Then spontaneously, next one is that then spontaneously, mm. God will be in their decisions. And the mm -hmm. elders will pre represent God to manage the affairs of the church. This mm -hmm. kind of management is theocracy. Mm -hmm. oh, this is such a wonderful principle and points here. Right? We need to be constituted with the word of God. Yeah. Then we will live for God. Then spontaneously in our decision, in everything that we do, that we, God will be in our decision. Mm -hmm. And B, you have this worthy woman, right? One who is wise, kind, diligent, and capable, who can arrange, manage, and provide for her household. Then you have her prices far above quarrels. Her glory surpasses all her peers. Mm -hmm. And this worthy woman typified the church and the saints. Mm -hmm. who oh, the, Lord. the Lord. And you have to read all these points. I, I don't mm -hmm. have the, the, we don't have the time this morning. Um, and really, the uh, the hidden man of the heart, point four, right under this uh, Roman numeral says, the hidden man of the heart is the incorruptible adornment of a meek and quiet spirit, which mm -hmm. is very costly in the sight of God. When mm -hmm. when we come to these points, we should think about the church ourselves, right? Not just yeah. the sisters. We mm -hmm. need to be both the king and yeah. the worthy women, right? These are mm -hmm. the two principles. For the mm -hmm. seeking ones uh, who fear in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So Amen. in the proper church life, right here, you have the point five on the matter of sisters. Godly reverence is a godly fear toward God. Yeah. A revering and honoring of God as is fitting for one who worships God. And you have matter, uh, then you have uh, the last point, point six. On the uh, the older women, right? What they do is that they may train the younger women to love their husband, to love their children. So you have a pattern in the church life to be of a sober mind, pure workers at home, good subject to their own husband. That the word of God, the key is the word of God. The result is that the word of God will Amen. not be blasphemy. This is what a a worthy uh, woman is. Mm -hmm. In the aspect, last point, I read this before, in the aspect of overcoming, we should be like a king. In the aspect Amen. of loving the Lord, we should be like a worthy woman. Being mm -hmm. like this will cause us to have value and glory before our Lord. Saints, mm -hmm. we live in the fear of God, in the economy of God. Uh, this, this outline is worth, worthy for us to come back to it again and again. Amen. The yeah. points here are mm -hmm. just... Uh, their revelation, their light. Amen. It's like a gold mine. Somebody opened up a gold mine for us. Oh. We need to come back and, and dig the gold. Amen. 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 And to enjoy all these points again and again. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord.
Amen. Let's how about let's have some overflow. I know we have to go through this very quickly. And every time you come to a wonderful outline like this, you're like you wish like everyone should be here, right? Then yeah. you have to you have to Amen. you don't have enough. Like this is a, usually we have a, a more saints. Uh, but because of the other road and other things. Amen. But anyway, this is just a tremendous outline. This uh, the points here are just so wonderful. Amen. 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 Yeah, this is this is a wonderful, wonderful message. Uh, because of time, just very quickly, we not only fear the Lord in the light of the judgment seat of Christ, mm -hmm. but more importantly, we realize that the fear of the Lord is actually an aspect <laughs> of the all-inclusive life-giving spirit. Yeah. And when we live and walk by our mingled spirit, yes, we have all right. that the fear of the Lord entails mm -hmm. so much. We just went through this rich outline. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to live by our spirit, walk by our spirit to have Amen. the proper fear of the Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord himself provides what we need for a proper human living. Uh, the, the, the fear of the Lord comes from uh, his fear put into us, Amen. right? Amen. The way the Lord lived on the earth is actually fully available to us by this spirit. Right. So we can live by the fear of the Lord and the real wisdom, which is not uh, is a restriction to the self, and a living of Christ and not in place of ourself. So we really have, uh, this is given to us that we can live a genuine human life, uh, uh, honoring and respecting God above all and living out God to express him in our humanity. Amen. 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 Terry, you have something? <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed just today's portion in the morning revival, right, about reigning as kings right and Amen. to fear the lord means to be under restriction right and it said yeah. i just it was very exposed by many brothers cannot restrict themselves therefore they cannot reign as kings mm -hmm. our lord was fully under god's restriction hence he could reign for god mm -hmm. in this part we should conduct ourselves and handle our affairs like royal princes even yeah. even in the elders training i was telling mary i've been in some study groups with some of these really 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 excellent young brothers and i told her oh man these are like princes then when i came to this part this morning right it's not for kings to drink wine nor for princes to say where is strong drink i just had the burden to pray for all all us older brothers and all the younger brothers not, not be drunk with wine not be occupied with the things of the world and and i was just impressed with brother lee's example brother lee was a king yeah and brother lee was strict Amen. watch me he said something to the effect of that the success of our brother witness lee is due to his being strict with himself that right. was a hallmark of, of brother lee right. right and he had the fear only somebody who could write these this outline i mean who could uh -huh. speak all these words only somebody yeah. who, this yeah. is how he lived and uh, that's why he was the way he was and that's why he was so fruitful and so mm -hmm. able to minister life so anyway praise the lord we need to follow his pattern to be kings Amen. Over, overcome. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I was very impressed with uh, uh, the part is that, um, you know, God have put this fear in our heart so that we will not turn away from him. Amen. Oh, yes. hallelujah. Yes. You know, because if you look at the Old Testament, uh, children of Israel, they are like, uh, God did so much to them, but they, yes. they are constantly turning away from God. You know, yes. that's so sad and so, um, mm -hmm. you know, devastating. But now God have this new covenant. He first, you know, covenant on himself that he will never turn away from us. Mm -hmm. And then he put this fear of God in us it's, it's a joy for us, actually. It's uh, so that we will never turn away from him. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and I, I'm so, <laughs> so appreciate that, you know, our fear of God can be a joy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so joyful to us because, right. yeah, whenever we fear of God, we know that we can have a long life. Uh, we can really uh, enjoy him. Uh, we can 
have all the resources from him. Right. So this is a proper fear actually mm -hmm. is a joy, is, is a, for our good. Yeah. So that we will not turn away from him because right. according to our own self, we are not faithful. We, right. You know, when situation comes, we always turn away. Right. But uh, thanks Lord, he put this spirit of God in us so that we will not turn away from him. Amen. 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 Any sisters want to share something before we end? I enjoy that the holy fear of the Lord is actually a source of joy as a fountain of life and as a tree of life to dispense yes. God into us for the carrying out of his economy. This Amen. is just um, um, amazing because the holy fear of Lord is not paralyzed us, is a source of joy. Amen. Just as right. David uh, set a good example for us. David said in Psalm 13, 9, David said, search and test my heart, O God, See if there is any offensive way in me and mm. lead me in the way of everlasting life. David is uh, a good example who um, his endeavor is to keep the Lord continually before him. And we have to follow David's example. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I really enjoy the, the title, the subject is the intrinsic significance of the fearing of the Lord in the economy of God. So intrinsic and the e economy of God uh, mm -hmm. really are the two key words. Mm -hmm. And the, in the very beginning, the brother has the burden that he doesn't want to speak this, this uh, topic apart from God's economy. Right. And he said, uh, God's economy is actually in every major point. So right. May the Lord right. continue to open our eyes to see God's economy in every point. I, mm. I, I enjoy the, the one point on the Roman numeral 3b. He, there's a, a verse from Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. It talks mm -hmm. about the Jehovah, like a tree plant on, yeah. the, on, the, on the river, on the stream. Amen. So, yeah, the leaf will continue to become, remain flourishing and when the heat comes. And then this, we see this, uh, there's a this divine dispensing. There's mm -hmm. dispensing there. Oh. There's dispensing. It's, it's, it's God's economy. Mm -hmm. So we really need to see the whole chapter. You know, we are not just gaining some wisdom. Oh, not from, if, apart from God's God apart right. from God himself. Mm -hmm. Even the last Roman numeral, he talked about the, 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 the two examples of uh, the, the man, uh, the king and the woman. Right. Actually, this is from uh, the, the king Lamel. It's from right. his mother's, you know, his mother's oracle taught him how to be a king. And the second part is his mother taught him how to find a wife worthy woman as a wife but mm -hmm. the lord the the, the, the the this ministry was able to help us to see uh, beyond beyond that how to be a man how to be a woman it's, it's the first part is a uh, represent typified christ and the overcomers and the second part is the church and the saints mm -hmm. so we really need to see that uh, you know, even especially for the sisters. I mean, uh, Terry talk about the brother. We talk we, uh, concerning even the sisters. We not just only want to be a good wife at home. We also mm -hmm. need to take care, arrange, manage, take care, provide mm -hmm. the need of the mm -hmm. saints in mm -hmm. the house of God, God. Which, mm -hmm. which is the church life. So Amen. it's not only just to pursue a good marriage. We need mm -hmm. to learn how to be a woman to, mm -hmm. to serve the saints in the house of God. So yeah. I just feel like, wow, this message is so deep and mm -hmm. so intrinsic. So Lord, yeah, we need to see it in, in, in the eyes of God's economy, Amen. not just the human virtue. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because since we have to end here, uh, we have to jump on to another, to the training. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank you.